For the past three years, Arlington Martin's Ernest Cooper IV has demanded our attention with his great play and has been one of our area's top standouts, which is why he's our recipient of this week's MVP bobblehead. Over the years, the Martin Warriors have produced some of the area's top talent, and this year is no exception. Ernest Cooper IV is the next in the long line of great defensive linemen that include the top overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. At 6'4 and 235 pounds, Cooper is considered one of the top linemen in the country. Yeah, he's a fantastic player, and Ernest joins me now with his new bobblehead. I mean, what do we think? I mean, pretty, pretty good, right? No, it's amazing. It's incredibly accurate. Uh, I just remember being asked. And, um as really a blessing that I can join a, a long line of athletes that have gotten a bobblehead. Yeah, well, it's well-deserved, man. I mean, it's been so fun. It feels like you've been playing at a high level for a long time there oh. at Martin, right? Um, can you take me into your journey and your development? I mean, what are you most proud of as a player and how you've gotten better year after year? Man, I'd definitely say uh, my strength-wise. Uh, we've gone through a couple strength coaching staffs, and I just love the staff up there, uh, Coach Shraggs especially working on my technique and really just getting better week to week and trying to be a better version of myself every day. And every year under Coach Bob Wager there at Martin, it feels like Arlington Martin's defense is good. And just I'm curious from inside the locker room's perspective, what kind of a feeling is there that we have to maintain that legacy as a defense at Martin? Oh, definitely maintaining the legacy. It really comes down to playing harder and playing longer for uh, the brothers beside you and really uh, upholding what Martin defense really is supposed to be. It's a really high standard, and he's upholding it, and I'm not just saying that. How about Bob Wager, the coach there at Arlington Martin? We spoke to him this week about Ernest. Here's what he had to say. Boy, it would be hard to say that he's exceeded our expectations because we knew he was special from a very young age, uh, but it would be hard to argue it as well because he has really developed into an elite-level uh, talent that that I think not only has the opportunity to play on Saturdays, but has the opportunity to play on Sundays as well. High praise from Coach Weger. When you hear that, I mean, it's one thing for me to say high praise about you. When you hear that from your coach, what does that mean to you? Uh, it, um, it's it's really breathtaking when you hear it from someone that uh, praises you every day and someone that you see every day. And I really hope I can live up to that standard one day. And finally, uh, you're headed to Stanford next year. I don't feel like I have to ask you why, but I'm going to ask you why. Why were the Stanford Cardinal? Why was it the right decision for your future going forward? Well, at the end of the day, God's going to take football away from all of us. And really, when you have a degree to fall back on, especially a place like Stanford that not only has uh, a great education, but uh, high-level football, it's really something that you can rely on when football's gone. Future college football star, future NFL player, and future senator, Ernest Cooper IV. <laughs> hey, congratulations on the opportunity and the bobblehead here. Keep going, man. Have a great rest of your season, and thanks for being with us here tonight. No, thank you, sir. It was an honor.